Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. Thanks everyone for joining in. I see a Penna Penna Boy, Wilfer DG, Bookmonger. Thanks guys for joining in. Um, glad to see all of you on this fine Tuesday evening. As you can see today from the stream title, we are unboxing possibly the chonkiest keyboard in my collection, the Saturn 60. So yeah, if you guys have never heard of the Saturn 60, the Saturn 60 is a board that went into group by late late 2020. I'm, I'm posting stuff into the chat right now. Oh, you know what? No music quite yet. So let's turn on some tunes and let's talk about the board really quick. So here we go. The Saturn 60 is a very industrial looking board as you guys can see from the pictures right here. Actually, in fact, the interest check has a couple more renders and pictures that make more sense. Check it out. It's got a handle on the back. It's a, it's supposed to be like a, what do you call it? It's like a rack mount system and you can carry this around like a briefcase. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's quite a chunky board. And as you can guess, it's pretty hollow inside. You've got ortholinear and standard 60 support. There, here we go. Let's see if I can find the cross. Oh, here we go. This is a cross section right here. It is a bottom mount board, but it's got a lot of these dampening foams around here just to settle some of that rattle. I still think it's going to rattle, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, right? It's got gaskets for isolation mount, like a form of isolation mount, but primarily this is a bottom mount keyboard. Look at that. Look at all that. Yeah, quite quite a chonky keyboard meant to be very industrial in its aesthetics. In fact, this is finally the board that I would be okay using SA keycaps on. So what's going to go on here is just to tie with the space te theme, Saturn 60, I'm going to be putting SA Godspeed on this. True to form, it comes in a very industrial looking package. There we go. See that? Let me actually put put my wine away as well. <laughs> Blade gone, I can finally look now. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it just comes in a regular cardboard box. Nothing fancy. If you watch a couple of my streams lately, you know that everyone has these fancy packagings. But here we go. Look at this. It says I've got the moon dust colorway for both the top and bottom. I have plate A. Don't know what that is. Finish MF. PCB T60 handle stainless steel and bad stainless steel. Interesting. Reminds me of my dad's portable typewriter. I would imagine so. But because this is not like a solid block of metal, it's actually sheet metal, it's not as heavy as you would expect. But yeah, let's go open this up. This is my first time unboxing, so everything everything I say will be a first and honest take. Here we go. Ooh. What is in the box? I see a hardware. Here we go. Looks like there is a USB-C cable of sorts, along with the stainless steel handle right there. And the badge, Ace Keyboards, model SAT, LXS. Oh yeah, so since I, oh, <laughs> I'm not even showing my face here. So since I did get this uh, courtesy of Ace Keyboards, they asked me what serial number I wanted. And everything I picked was already taken. So I said, okay, how about 1001? <laughs> nuclear, oh yeah, SA Nuclear would be another great one. Right here, pardon me, you won't be seeing my face as much. There we go, there's... The Titan 60 PCB, which you guys have seen before if you caught my VIA stream. What's this? This is what I assume to be a plate. I assume it's a plate. It looks... feels like a plate. Yeah, it's a plate. There we go. 
Look at that plate right there. I've never seen a plate like this where the mounting bracket is part of the plate and it mounts to the bottom. That's super industrial. And this is aluminum. Cool. Very interesting. So yeah, I can... Yeah, this looks like it supports your typical standard layout, split shift, ISO or regular enter, all that good stuff. Awesome. Okay, let's get to the actual thing. <laughs> oh, okay, here. I will probably not have room. So... <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> there it is, right there. This feels like the same um, finish that you would feel on like an IBM Model M. I think it's, uh, is it Cerakoted? I'm not sure, actually. Whew. That is chonky. Chonky as heck. Wow. Oh, here. Let me turn off my crisp so you guys can 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 hear it resonate. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Let's look at the back right there. Is it sheet metal? Yes, it is sheet metal. <laughs> this is crazy. This is probably like the largest 60% I've ever owned. <laughs> yeah, this will definitely look good with SA. There we go. Oh, wow. I have not seen foam this thick for a keyboard ever. Holy crap. <laughs> so thick. <laughs> oh my word. Thick, thick foam. Holy hell. Okay! That's pretty fun. That's hella fun, actually. I like that. Okay, that's, uh... Well, that thing will ring like Big Ben, so the foam is definitely necessary. Yeah, for sure. Cool, and it's got like another foam layer at the very bottom. This black thing that you're seeing is not... It's not the bottom of the case. This is this is another piece of foam. Rip audio? Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh yeah. Did I not have my crisp on? <laughs> but here we go. So see. So that's where the handle goes in, and that's where the USB-C port goes. Let's see. I would like to see how it connects. Let me just look at the thing. The renders don't even have the USB-C port on. Here, let's go look at the actual pictures. Needs two F rows on top. Oh yeah, I know, right? To make it super industrial looking. say yeah that, that's ginormous can you talk in a case to see if it echoes maybe yolo hello no it doesn't echo but let me take out all the foam let's do that let's take out all the foam and do a partial build stream of sorts here it looks like there are two points here this is the largest board ever, or largest 60% I've ever unboxed. I love how over the top, yeah, I know, right? It's very interesting. All right, we got one screw out. I think it just slides into place or something. Let's. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, I see how it goes. 
to unscrew the back as well. So four screws all in all. Is it heavy? It's not. It's not heavy at all. I'd say it's because it's it's sheet metal. It's not a solid block of metal. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Let's see. Does it plug in properly? No, it doesn't. <laughs> a USB thing is a little too thick, so that means I may need to readjust how I do this. Um, shoots. It may have to go in from the back. Because then the USB cable doesn't work. Yeah, let's do it from the back. I wonder if it will sound hollow. I think it will sound hollow. Um, Ace keyboards included a lot of foam in order to prevent that, but... I'm pretty sure it's not going to do too much, just because of how big this board is. Now let's try it again. Or maybe I just need to find like a smaller cable. I think that's what needs to happen. Or at least a USB-C cable with a smaller head. That's that's what I need to do. Because it does look better. It, it looks a whole lot better with the screws on the outside. So yeah, maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll just do that. I'll, I'll use one of those custom cables. Let's see, one hot doggy says, Merlin, what do you think of the normies that have been coming in? You mean like the influx of newer people into the hobby? Um, I think I think it's pretty awesome. I think that this that it's awesome that this hobby is starting to gain acceptance, like a more global acceptance and all that. The more the merrier. Yeah, these are the only screws that sh that show up with the board. So I'm kind of surprised. Like, there's nothing else in here. It's all the same screw all the way around. Buy two new screws with thinner heads for the... Yeah, probably. In that case, I won't screw it in too tight. But there we go. Yeah, I'd probably go with thinner heads for the plate as well. But yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll put the knob on, or sorry, like the handle on. First time joining the stream, says Cavite Tech. Well, thanks for joining in, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are doing an unboxing of the Saturn 60. Here, I guess I'll post it in, in chat again. Oh wait, I don't have my keyboard, so I can't even paste it. Oh <laughs> well. Screw them in super good, then grind them off. Permanent USB-C. That's not bad. You always watch the VODs on my channel. Yeah, um, I normally stream around this time most days. The only time that it's not around this time is on Saturdays. Knocking on people of KBD67 Lite. Hey man, the KD67 Lite is an amazing board. There we go. Here, let me change my view. <laughs> Not bad. I'll just walk into my next meetup like this. I probably, probably need to tighten the screws a bit more. It's like an old school lunch pill. Nice metal purrs, I know, right? You updated yours to KBD V3? I've got a V3 as well. I don't think it's necessarily an upgrade, but it does make it a different sounding board. All right. 
We've got those parts in. Let's continue with putting stuff in here, like, hmm. I suppose... Hold on. I suppose I don't need to put the plate in quite yet, but I can put this on. That's a man's purse. <laughs> yeah, it's a man's purse. Saturn 60. Okay, so based on that, it went here. Okay. Uh, oh gosh, I'm going to be so, like, paranoid about how I put it on. But it looks like it's aligned with the escape key, like so. If I put it there, it should be good. Yeah, we'll go put it there. Three M. Okay, makes sense. Looks like it goes wherever you want. Yeah, you can go wherever you want, but you know, just kind of like to make it look the same as what's advertised. All right, Merlin, try to keep it straight. Don't don't make it crooked. There we go. It's a little bit crooked, but oh well. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There's my little case right there. Okay. Um. Sure. Titan 60 goes in this way. Maybe I should have asked for a hot swap board, so I could have, like, just built it really quick. But yeah. Like a body kit. Yeah, exactly. A body kit for cars, body kit for keyboard. Okay. That's not going in all the way, but that's fine for now, because I'm not even putting the board together. And there we go. Here, let's change the view again. See that? <laughs> Lunchbox keyboard! Here, we'll, we'll put the feet on, and then I think we're good. Put the feet on, and we're, we're good for the evening. There we go. Okay, let's see if the feet solve that issue I was seeing. Uh... Yeah, it does, actually. It does. It solves that issue. There we go. Okay! So, let's see, once I put that in, the cable's gonna have to move this way so I can plug it into the PCB. Okay. Not bad. Let's see, I need to find switches for this, and I think I've decided on picking clicky switches. I just, I'm just not used to clicky, so I don't know what's good out there. Does anyone, do any of you guys recommend a good clicky switch? By good, I mean like obnoxious and loud. <laughs> so if anyone has any of those, please um, recommend them in chat. Jades, jades, okay. Been a while since I've even tried jades. Box jades or navy. Navy's a little too heavy for me. Like I typed on navies for like five minutes and at the end of like the typing, I, I was tired. I think jades are a little bit lighter, so that that might do the trick for me. 
Yeah, even with the board built, this isn't going to be very heavy at all. I'd say even the... Let's see, what's comparable? Yeah, I'd say your typical 65%, or I guess, like this guy that I have right here, the LW67, this guy is going to be heavier once built. Any love for cherry blues? I've actually got some Gateron blues. I'm considering that, like, depending on the price of jades, actually. Let's go look at the price of jades right now. Let's be honest here. You, I'm not building this board for, like, you know, ASMR typing sounds, right? <laughs> but, okay. So here's the thing. I, I do want to keep the foam DJ because there's a difference between a very clicky sound versus a very clicky and rattly sound. Like a clicky sound can be argued to be good. Like, is that a well-pronounced click? Is that a good click? Whereas I believe any kind of rattle on a board, whether it be the screws, the plate, the stabilizers, or even the, you know, even the piece, even those switches is a completely bad idea. I'm going to say this is probably one of the most unique boards I've ever unboxed on stream. I would not call it beautiful. I would not call it aesthetic, but I would call it pretty damn cool. You know, it's not, it's, it's got that very vintage vibe. So if that's something that you like, if you got a bunch of vintage keycaps, then this is a board that you want to consider. There's literally nothing else like it. Like, like, look, it's it's got that server rack handle. So if you happen to have like a a rack somewhere that has the same width, you literally could put this in. You know, I'd call it I'd call it childhood. It says most heinous base kata says 80s Russian lunchbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's a good idea. If you have any like keycaps with a uh, Cyrillic legends on it. You, this would fit very well as well. So yeah, um There here, let me post the the links in chat for those interested. Currently not in stock. Group buy ended a, a while a while back and it's shipping to customers right now, but chances are there will be some kind of extra. So it won't be $200 anymore. Here, let me post this the screen. Won't be two hundred dollars anymore. Probably two fifty, something like that. I'm, I'm guessing. Fingers crossed. But yeah, fun build to do. Assembly required. <laughs> but yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. And I will make an announcement once I get to building it. I will have to buy those switches first, though. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks guys for hanging out with me as I played with this novelty keyboard of sorts. You know, one of these days I'm gonna like lift this up and it's gonna come crashing down on me. <laughs> there we go. I'm tempting fate right now. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys for joining in. Uh, my next stream will be this Saturday. Don't know what I'm building quite yet. I'm going to have to look look at my schedule, but we'll see. We'll see. So thanks guys for joining in and I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye, everyone.